guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support happy wednesday to everybody out there and we got some uh big news out of uh florida uh in reference to the madeline soto case and uh the accused killer stephen stearns or stephen stearns this guy today was supposed to go to court and make his first court appearance out there in Osceola County, Florida. Now, I didn't know, you know what I mean? Because I've been keeping up with the story and I haven't been keeping up with it as late. But there haven't really been any new updates. I did not know at all the stuff we were reporting. I wasn't really thinking about it. Besides when he first got caught. This guy has never made his first court appearance, guys. I thought that was amazing. Well, today he was supposed to make his first court appearance this morning. What happened was his trial date, which we had spoke about, was coming up quick. Next month, it was supposed to be May 13th. That's when his trial date was supposed to start for all of those 60 charges that he had in reference to the Madeline Soto case. Now, what I found out today is they have pushed back the uh, trial trial date. They pushed it back to August 19th with his pre-trial date being July 10th. Now, he didn't even show up to court. Now, I don't think it's for his own doing. And as more uh, information comes out, we'll learn some things. But uh I'm thinking, honestly, and this is just my opinion of why this happened, him not showing up to court and uh, them pushing his trial date back. They haven't got the autopsy report. They haven't got the toxicology reports. Basic stuff, guys. Um, they haven't had, uh, you know, they have, they, they have him in lockup, basically. He's in lockup. He's not going nowhere. They got him in custody. That's one of the things when you're in custody and they have you in there, no bond, can't get out. You at the mercy of those that, you know, have you in bondage. They'll get to him when they get to him. Now, they was going for a speedy uh, trial because he wants to go to trial. They have all the information for the 60 charges. He hasn't been charged with the actual murder of Madeline Soto yet. This gives them time, barring. Everything comes back on time. Autopsy report, toxicology report, any other things, any statements. You know, in the defense of Madeline Soto, like, you know, eyewitness accounts of their relationship, a whole bunch goes into convicting somebody in a court of law. Now, this guy right here, I believe he's guilty. I believe he's guilty of uh, murdering this young lady. A lot of you guys do too out there, but um, they're taking their time with this. Now I said he has a pre-trial date, July 10th. I guess that gives them time to appeal or put some appeals up or any discrepancies they got with the uh, discovery. But um, we'll see. We'll have to see. I mean, that's the, that's the update right now of what's going on. My whole thing with this whole situation. I was sitting up here and I'm, I'm looking at WFLA News Channel 8. They had a live feed to see if they would catch him coming in court. This is where I'm getting this information from this morning. And uh, somebody in the comment section or in the, uh, in the uh, feed, like the chat feed, somebody said this. I want to see what you guys think about this. Somebody said, not to be funny, but they never said if she had any injuries on her. And he was like, just thinking outside the box. He said, what if, and this is just hearsay what the guy said. He said, what if Madeline Soto committed the C word? I mean, the S word. I hate doing this on YouTube. Took her own life. That night, he comes in there, sees her, panics, and goes and hides the body. 
I don't know, but I never thought about that. I was like, hmm. It do, it do, uh, it could, it, it's possible. But I mean, what this woman, what this young lady went through from 11 years old up until 13 when she stopped breathing is horrendous. And us with sound minds can't fathom somebody doing that to a child so young. This guy started touching this girl when she was 11 years old. Think about that. Had it in his phone, recording her, recording the violation. Then gets in, gets uh, transported from one jail to another and complains about the treatment he was getting. The mother sitting on the uh, TV, I still think she plays a part in it. You know, may, you know, no matter how minor, she knows something. I seen how manipulative he was when she was talking. How he sat in the background. He hovered over her with an intimidating presence. Also, did you notice how awkward they were when he was when he was doing that fake crying and saying he wants her to come back? And did you see how awkward she was comforting him? That tell me a little bit about the relationship they had. I think it was a one way relationship. It was always about him, never about her. He never touched her, probably never kissed her. Think about that. And uh, it was awkward when they looked like they was coming together as a family in that picture. I just thought about, I just, you know, think about stuff like that. The stuff this young girl endured. You know, and there's no motive for why he did what he did. I mean, I know I gave my opinion of what I thought it was. I thought, you know, she probably had enough. You know, these dudes that prey on these young girls a lot of times, they'll use something against them like embarrassment or shame or the threat of to manipulate somebody to do their bidding. I think her at a young age caught on to his game and watched how he treated her mother and said, you know what? No matter what you say or do to try to shame me will not make me feel as bad as I feel now. So I'll take my chances. And she pulled this card on his threats, probably threatened to go and tell maybe the authorities or maybe somebody else that he didn't want this to get out to. And he took a life. That's my opinion. And you know, we all got our own opinions. Hopefully the motive will come out. You know, and we'll see who was right and who was wrong. But as for now, the one that was super wrong and needs to be taken off this planet, in my opinion, is Stephen Stearns. No excuse. No delay. This guy's an idiot. He's a child. But above that, he's an animal. And he should have been dispatched as soon as they found out it was him that dumped that body out there. But you know how it is. People want to know answers. A lot of people are hurt. A lot of people were out there looking for this girl. This guy act like he was uh, innocent, but staying close enough to where he could hear and get a lead for his next move to cover up the sin of what he did to this girl. Unacceptable. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Justice for Madeline Soto. May she rest in peace.